So in this episode, we're going to talk about something called functions in PHP. Now, when we talk about functions, we basically have two different types. We have predetermined functions and we have user-defined functions. Now, in this episode, we're just going to focus on the predetermined functions. The user-defined functions we'll do a little bit later. So when we talk about what a function is, it's essentially a piece of PHP code that does one certain thing. So when we talk about a predetermined function, we talk about a piece of PHP code that has already been defined inside the PHP language, meaning that right now I can actually use it straight away. Now a user defined function is a function that I write myself, which I can't use yet because I haven't created it yet. So to give you guys an example of a predetermined function, let's go ahead and write some, some text here. I'm just going to go ahead and echo a string called hi Daniel. Now, when we do actually write this out, let's say I want to create a function that goes in and looks at my string to calculate how many characters are inside this string. And it's always going to count the spaces. I just want to mention that. So in order to write a function like that, you have to write the name of the function and then the parentheses where we're going to put whatever we want to, you know, use the function on inside the parentheses. So we do have a function called string length. And the way we write that is by writing strlen for string length. So it actually goes in and calculates the string length. So right now we did actually create the name for it and we need to create the parentheses. So we need to put in whatever we want to count the string length of inside the parentheses. So I'm going to take my string and just kind of place it in there. So now if we calculate it, we can actually count ourselves. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine characters, including the space. So if I save this and echo it out, go to my browser, refresh, you guys can see we have nine. So this is one way of using a function called string length or strlen, which does something. We also have another one, which we can actually call string underscore word underscore count. This one will actually count the number of words we have inside the string. Now, again, all the different functions I'm giving you guys examples of right here are just focused on strings. There's functions for all kinds of crazy stuff. And the ones we're just focusing on here, like I said, is strings. So if you go and calculate or like refresh our browser, you guys can see it says two, because right now we have two words inside the string. Now, we also have another one called strrev, which means string reverse. Now, this one is actually kind of funny because if we write it out, save it, you can see right now it says, hi, Daniel. If you refresh the browser, it's going to take everything backwards, which is just, you know, a fun little thing you can do. We also have another one called string position, which actually goes in and looks at a certain word that we define and tells us where inside the string it's placed. So if we write strpos, and we actually give it two different, uh, what do you call it, parameters inside the parentheses. So right now we do actually have the whole word, or like the whole string. And then afterwards, we're going to say comma, and then we're going to tell it what word we wanted to search for. So right now I could say hi, like so. And once I do actually refresh my browser, it's going to tell me zero. And that's because when we calculate spaces, like the space that is position that we always start at zero. So right now eight is zero, I is one, the space is three, no two, sorry, I can't count. D is three, A is four, and so on and so on. So right now high starts at position number zero. If I write Daniel, you can actually see that it should be zero, one, two, three that we see inside the browser, like so. So there's a lot of different awesome functions. And just to do one last one, which I actually like to do, is called string replace. So we say string underscore replace. And now we can actually give it three different parameters inside the parentheses. So right now we have hi Daniel, which is the full word. And we've used this one. We actually need to have these, like the word we want to use in the beginning. So I'm actually going to write Daniel in the beginning, comma, 
And then I'm going to tell it what I want to replace the word Daniel with in the next parameter here. So I want to replace it with Jason. So right now we have hi Daniel. We're going to find the word Daniel and then replace it with Jason. So if I go in and refresh my browser, you guys can see we say hi Jason. It doesn't say hi Daniel anymore. So these are like some examples of functions. There's actually quite a few functions out there that does a lot of different things inside PHP. And we just focused on some string functions here. There's so many functions out there. And if you're familiar with JavaScript, you're also gonna recognize that a lot of these actually does the same thing as a lot of the JavaScript functions, except they just call something a little bit different. If you're interested in doing something specific, with your text, just go ahead and Google it. That's usually the, you know, the web programmer way of doing things. If you want a function that needs to do a certain thing, always Google it to see if it already exists out there. And if it doesn't, you can always create it yourself with a user defined function. Like I said, we're going to uh, learn how to do that a little bit later, not in this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.